thankfully I am alive, but it shows you that statistic on black women being three to four more times likely to die in childbirth. I was linked to that disparity and could have been um, honestly not, not here with you today. But what has come up in a lot of the conversations that I've been, been in, whether it's on board seat or just um, on, a, on a task force, is this whole question around, well, we need more diverse uh, um, clinical investigators. We also need more people like you and me, more um, BIPOC community members participating in research mm -hmm. uh, from sometimes researchers that, well, uh, Black communities don't want to engage. And and there's, there's a hint of truth on both sides, but there's so much opportunity to come together through education, through uh, building relationships. And my number one word is connection. Yeah. If we really figure out a way to connect and um, address those those challenges, it's sad that there are so many drugs and, and studies that are designed to help um, communities like ours, but oftentimes, I mean, really all of us, but oftentimes we're not even included mm -hmm. in, in the research. And that's yeah. just one example because mm -hmm. there's so much research beyond making drugs, right? Um, mm -hmm. So there's a lot of my um, my work and passion is around understanding what are the gaps in research 